Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We're taking a look at a teeny tiny small class B motorhome. This one's perfect for singles. This is a 2022 Thor Tolero model 20K. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features. Then, we're gonna give you three things we love about the Tolero and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. I am super excited to show you this small, compact Class B, and I know you guys are gonna love it, but before I begin, I do have to say hi to Andrea. Hey, Andrea. Hi, everyone. How's it going today? It's going good. We are here in Alvarado, Texas at Motorhome Specialist. Yeah, so wet and rainy Motorhome Specialist. Yes, and you guys, I have never seen a Thor Tellero. Did I say it right? I don't even know, to be Tellero. honest, well. Tellero, I don't know. Yeah. I'm excited because hashtag van life. Yes, hashtag van life. Now, the Tellero is sister products to the Thor sequence. So we have seen one of these about eight, nine months ago. But again, just to find these small units right now was so hard. Yes. That's why we had to come to Texas. Andrea, model is Tolero 20K. The actual tip tip length of this motorhome is 20 feet 11 inches. This is definitely by far one of the smallest class B's on the market today. It does sit on the Ram Promaster 3500 chassis, 3.6 liter V6, and this is the charcoal exterior paint. Now this motorhome is designed to be one of the most price point one of the most economical class b's on the market today you do got the plastic front fenders here i do like the chrome and everything about it's just about being simplistic coming on down the side here we're not going to have side cameras um but you do have the mirrors right here left and right uh there is a camera in the reverse but again you don't really need cameras with this with how small it is um and it is saving price and then look at these tires right they're nexons I love those. LT225-75R16. Rodians. Rodians, yes. And something I want you to notice, the engine of this is on. You can't the, hear it hardly. The rain is louder than the engine. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. It's really nice. Really, you know what this is? Hashtag not van life, stealth life. This is stealth camping. Because this is a Thor Class B, it has a two year warranty on it. Open up this door here, look at this. Very nice. Bright, beautiful, small motorhome. The light cabinetry is really gonna open everything up. You do have this very nice, look how big this door opening is, I love that. Also, it does have an armless awning with LED lights. We're not gonna put the awning out because it would hit this pole. But it is a very nice light and everything. And I do love the running board and everything. Also, if we wanna talk about this right here a little bit, all right, here's your solar charger. There is solar on the roof. Battery disconnect, and here's where you fill up your fresh water. Cool. Coming on down the side here, Andrea. This right here is where the awning does not have a wind sensor. It has poles, and the poles clip into this. Um, right here, you do have power on the outside, and there is a propane quick connect if you want to have a grill on the outside. Coming around the back. No ladder to get up on the roof, womp womp. There is the backup camera that I was telling you about. Bike rack. Watch now make sure back. you guys watch your heads when you open this, okay? Because if you don't, Jen, go back to the time where I smashed my head on the uh, back of a bike rack. What's that? What's up on the roof? Oh. I don't really want to. That's why you always have to be careful when it comes to these class Bs. Okay. Right over here, Andrea. Oh man, a uh, very nice big size rear bathroom. 3,500 pound hitch, this motorhome can tow 3,500 pounds. And Andrea, look, we're giving you a ladder to get up on the roof. Wow. That's not a U-step ladder, so we're not climbing up it. A <laughs> <laughs> uh, very nice, really big, really big rear bathroom here. Here's where you hook up your water. Oh my gosh, look, not a potable. Potable. Oh, wow. Not a potable. Water and lights and everything. And then you do have a little spray area right there. Got some cubbies here on the door. Little cubbies wow. there. Little cubbies there. And a little uh, toilet. Paper holder. Paper. Toilet paper protector. Yes. 
Oh, very nice. Coming around to the driver's side, you do have a little light on the outside for docking. Here's your potable water fill. Potable, potable. Sanitation flush. Look at and this. Matt, underneath here, we've got our sewer connection yes. and our holding tank. Yes, very nice. And then check this out. City water fill, water connection, sewer hose, already hanging out wow. there. You, you little stinky slinky. <laughs> Nope, hasn't been used yet. Ew, Matt, put, it, put that back in there. <laughs> Go get on in there. Low point drain. Yes, yes, propane tank underneath, Truma hot, instant hot tankless water heater. That's also your furnace. And we got our propane under there. Yes. And then right there, Andrea, is 30 amp power. And also, what? Where's the generator? Oh, uh, the generator? Gotta climb under the rock. Is it back under there? Sorry, Matt. Oh man, rock and roll. What the heck? Oh, it's under the middle. What is it? I can't see it. Okay, we'll have that on the... Nope. I'll tell you, we're gonna do it. You know why? Cause it's America. That's why, yes. <laughs> These are rocks. I know, I'm sorry, Matt. Are you kidding me? Hashtag van life. I can't even see what generator it is. I'm on the wrong side. I am going to tell you, it is most likely, you know what? Over on the other side. I can't assume anything. I got to go on the other side. And now you're all dirty. Okay. We did that. All right, coming around, you know, you have your fuel fill up right here. And there's your running board to get in. Oh. You know what they say, Andrea? Third time's a charm. Ugh. Are you kidding me? All that. Okay, we're just gonna have to put it up with the specs. Cause look at you, you're a mess now. Andrea. That's dedication. <laughs> I don't think it's a generator. <laughs> really? No, I think it's lithium ion batteries. No, let me see. Here. Oh. You see that, folks? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, no generator. All that work. Sorry, man. And it wasn't even a generator. Well, it's good to know. All right. Well, Andrea, the outside of Motorhome looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. Oh. <laughs> okay, coming in. Wow, I like the white interior in here. Okay. Very very pretty okay walking through here plenty of space i see lots of storage here's the rear bathroom oh interesting what, refrigerator yes that's why i didn't assume that it was a generator good thing matt yeah yeah it's batteries well andrea before we show everybody the inside let's take a quick second to thank our sponsor u steps u steps is an easy to use telescoping ladder very easy to store and bring with you in your RV. With their rubber tops that works individually on uneven surfaces and avoid sliding and damaging walls, adjustable heights to extend to only your desired height, and finally, the angulated rubber feet maximize surface contact to avoid slipping. We have a video demonstrating the U-steps that we have Make sure you guys check out that video. We will link it down in the description below. Also, we have a link to Amazon to buy their three ladders. Thank you so much to you steps for sponsoring this video. Okay, so before I show you guys the inside, I would like to mention the battery systems, the power pack electrical system, okay? And then you this does have the optional reliable renewable battery system which is the lithium ion batteries. This does not have the lithium ion. That is an option. Just wanted to clear the air. Andrea, let's get started up front here. Look at that bright area. light right there. I like that. This whole thing is bright. You know, this is really a tiny motor home, but all the lightness in here makes it feel super big and spacious. Okay, so right up here, Andrea, we're gonna start off with the cockpit area. Power windows right here, adjustable mirrors and everything. Really, really nice. Notice how we're sitting again. I do this every time I'm in a Ram. This is my point of view, and I cannot see the front of the vehicle. It's something that 
I'm not comfortable with and even though I'm short I feel like I'm sitting up very high like I'm elevated right here this is where you're able to see your reverse also your radio and um, camera and then there's your cup holders Andrea how do you feel my co-captain seat I I feel really elevated you look really elevated <laughs> like, looks look, like your head's about like, to hit like, already look, the seat must be up so the you, seat definitely yeah, is up you definitely have to put the seat down when you're um, sitting here other than that but, um, I do like that this seat does swivel okay to become part of that living area yes I yes. am comfortable it is a comfortable seat at least okay and then right here you can see that it does have the privacy curtains right here and this is just where it's stored and then you do have your sun visors as well Andrea um, did okay. you mention that both seats do swivel? I did not. I okay. thought that I knew that one did. Does this one as well? Um, I do know there's storage above here. I'm gonna show it really quick. Yes. Okay. There's your privacy shade for the front there, and then behind the seat. Andrea, we're playing 20 questions today. Yeah, we are. Yes, swivel must be locked in. Okay, so both of them swivel. So yes. that's good. You would need that. Yes, ma'am. Um, I do do like that we have a table here, Matt. So when you do turn this passenger chair around, you have a table right here in this little thing. Yes. So. Oh, here, let, I'll demonstrate it. Oh. oh. You already got it. I got it. Look, so you have that crap. there. Perfect. So again, once this is swiveled, it's a little work area and everything. Very, very nice. And then Matt, we have an electrical outlet down there, USB, and pull out that drawer. It's a little kibble station. It's for the dogs. Yeah, that's nice. Very nice. The drawer is very animal friendly. They sure are. And then this right here is a lagoon table. It hooks up to the side right there. As you can see right there on the ground. Yep, that's the bar and it hooks up to the side. And it's very, very nice. And again, it just makes it like a little workshop area. Look at this nice Euro Pretty. style cabinetry. I love it. Right here, we do have lights, speakers on the inside, underneath. Got a reading light there. And then we have these, these uh, blinds. Yes. And then these are automotive style windows, but they do still come up and go out. Oh, let me demonstrate that. Oh, they slide. Okay. Yes. And it's also nice. this little screen right there. It's a really nice feature and touch. All right. This is a single. Okay. This does come out to make a full bed. I actually think the last time I did a sequence, and I think we did demonstrate this. Yes. And so uh, hopefully we can find that footage. Okay. I see that they have little oh, table things down table. here that come up. So it looks like, yeah. Uh oh, there you go. There, look, that's not too bad. It's bad, I hate doing that this. That was easy. I hate it, I hate look it. Look at that. I didn't like Legos growing up as a kid, and I don't like setting stuff well, up. Well, it's good so people know, but yeah, I could see how this would be a pain every night to do. Right. But at least you have the option. And then look at the cushions, it's a big old mess. It definitely look is a big this. old mess. I would have look to sit here and try to figure out which goes where but I'm sure this goes because I do see it is kind of a pain because you have to pull those out and everything Andre it's the biggest pain <laughs> it's the biggest pain America but I will explain why later on in this video and then Andrea can you show everybody the kitchen I will but first Matt can I let's just show this TV real quick show it like I didn't know that was right there until yep. I looked look you have some countertop right here okay we have some storage above here with the USB very nice electric outlet a coax right there yes ma'am and then we have two drawers. Well, let's see. This is the worst motorhome. Oh, that's motor not home. a drawer. I'm, that's a little cubby. Andrea, is with... it the motorhome or is it that we've just done like 12 RV it's reviews us, in a row? because we've done so many. Yes. It's HDMI's right there. Okay, good. And then we have another. Okay, interesting. Yes. Okay. So, oh, look at this. Here is the kitchen, guys. We made it. Very nice. I love this cabinet. It's like you said, Matt, very pretty. We've got solid surface countertop with a uh, little sink here. Very nice. Very, very nice. And we do have the windows with the blinds right here. Show them, show them. Those are huge windows. Well, are they up or down? That's van down. life. Yeah. Hey, that is the perfect thing. Is it up or is it down? There Hashtag it van life. It very nice. Up. Okay, and then we have four drawers. 
Yes. Very nice. Okay, Matt, real quick across is this, I like this, you got a little end table here. Okay. And then there's a tower of power. Hey, that's a nice tower of power right there. Did we go over these? I don't know. We're getting lost. Yes. <laughs> And then okay. there's a train blowing a horn yeah. or something. I don't even and know. And then we've got three more drawers over here, guys. Yeah. And I'm kind of like just going over it because it is near the kitchen. Just, Andrea, it's listen. All... <laughs> listen, I'm I'm sorry. It's all together. I'm not enjoying this van tour. <laughs> so I want you, It's not, it has nothing to do with Toleros. You guys know I'm not a huge fan of van life. Got another and, nice cabinet here, everybody. And when we do 12 RV reviews in a row, it starts to get to you. Steam guard. Yes. And then we've got um, a Dometic propane cooktop too. Oh, you get two, that's good. I do like that. I'm just we, gonna hype up Andrea for the rest of the video. <laughs> we got another tower power there. Bing bong. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I, I, uh, oh my, first time I've seen it. Convection oven in a, a class B. Convection microwave in a class b you guys andrea said it couldn't be done i i thought it couldn't be done because it might be too much energy with the convection part but oh well now i'm i i, I don't know what i'm talking about bing bong <laughs> okay look at this bing bong oh my goodness what is i love this? that that's a beautiful fridge a vitra frigo what the heck Look, this is hey, cool. Hey, I'll wash your mouth out with soap. What'd you just say? <laughs> this is so cool. Look at it. That's a very nice I little like fridge. I like that it's white. Yeah. First time. All right, and then we got, oops, sorry. We are we a are mess. such a mess. Sorry, guys. Uh, we got three drawers right here. All right, Matt, you want to do the bathroom or do you nope. want me? You're there. All right, I am here. So coming in here, we do have a sliding door here. Very cute. Okay. Okay. Over here, we have the medicine cabinet. Very nice. We have a sink that pulls out. Yes, ma'am. We've got our shower head up here. We have our lights, our fans. I didn't want that on. Okay, and over here, we have another cabinet for your wardrobe. Mm -hmm. Very pretty cabinetry. And then two drawers right here. And as you can see, there is a shower curtain that goes around, so that okay. way you can protect your privacy. Yes, ma'am. And uh, you do have, you know, it does block it off here. Good. Towel rack here and the toilet paper here. And uh-oh, plastic. Womp womp. But you know what, Matt? If I had to say this, this is definitely a prime poop in position. But it can't be if it's not porcelain. But yeah, it can't be because it is plastic. Right. But other than that, it's not bad at all, and I think there's plenty of space in here. Awesome. Well, Andre, you know what time it is. It's now time to give everybody three things we love about this Tolero, three things we don't like about it. Andrea, let's do what we like about it first, okay. and then we'll end with what we don't like about All it. All right. So here, I'll go first. I will say, admittedly, I do love the fact that it's so light and bright in here. This is a small motorhome, guys. I've, I've been having some issues with it, with it being so small, me being so large. But again, for it being so small, this light cabinetry really opens it up, makes it light and bright, and I do love that. That's number one. Andre, number two? Um, I, I gotta say, I like the floor plan in here. I know it probably seems really strange, but yes. I do like it. I like the fact that, you know, you have this um, countertop and you yep. still have this if you need it extra for yeah. the kitchen. Yeah. And then you have this table over here. It, it's, it's, so it's a really nice floor plan. I do like the floor plan. Okay, okay. That's two, Andre. And then number three is, um, I like the way that seat swivels. I like how it comes out and makes a desk. Also, I must say, I do like how big this door opening is. So many times the door openings are really small. Okay. Great, so that's three things we love about it. Now it's time for three things we don't like about this motorhome. Can I go first? Sure. Okay, this whole bed setup. Yes, that was one of mine. This is the biggest mess. <laughs> it's when it, when it Tetris off the wall. Uh, not a fun experience making this a bed and making it not a bed. It's actually the worst. I hate it. Um, and I do not like this. I if, think if, if I were buying this or if I was selling this, I would sell it under the terms that somebody's only going to sleep on it as a single. They're not going to make this a bed every day. Let, and, and let me say something on that really quick. Because I think I said the last time that they need to make all the cushions together some way. So yeah, you didn't like, have to like play. What is this? I mean, that's Velcroed. But like, so you're not playing Tetris when you're putting it together. That's the first thing we dislike. Andre, number two. I don't, uh, I know you said you like this, but I don't. This is my dislike. Really? I feel like it takes up too much space. Um, I, I wouldn't want that right here. I would want the whole doorway. 
I just think it's strange. I think it's weird. So are you usurping my like? I am. <laughs> Unbelievable. Sorry. Unbelievable. So that's number two. And then Andrea, a third dislike, huh? It's it's pretty tough. Tell me if you have one. Um. Okay, I will say, and this is kind of, this is me nitpicking because it really is super it's cute okay here. It's okay to nitpick. I, I think that they should have put daytime shades in here. Oh, is there not? No. It's just these. Oh, yes. Um, oh, 100% agree. Yeah. yeah, no, it's so... It's such it's, a nice, it's such yep. a nice uh, motorhome with the whole Euro look. It feels high end. I, I would have rather they put some daytime shades in here. Yeah, no, great point, Andrea. Well, it's now time for the MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. MSRP on this motorhome here really isn't that bad at all. The MSRP is 126 182 Andrea, that is MSRP. Sale price, motorhome specialist isn't selling it for that. And neither are we, Andrea. If you guys don't know, we are part of RV Retailer now, which is a nationwide network of RV dealerships. So, doesn't matter if you live in Texas, Florida, New York, or California, we have a dealership close to you and we will help you guys get a phenomenal price. Just go to mattsrvreviews.com and fill out that first contact form and we'll get you with one of our team members to get you a phenomenal price on this. Andrea, is there anything you'd like to say? Yes. Uh Hey everybody, thank you so much for sticking around this review. Yes. Uh, let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things that you dislike. Yep. Or does read the comments and they watch all the videos. So they, they do want to hear what you have to say. Um, thank you to Motorhome Specialists for letting us be here today. Yes. And I hope you guys are safe and well. Thanks for watching. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. And Andrea, we'll, we'll see, see you next time. time.